everybody nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for kingdom chapter 698 so before i get into this recap and live reaction let me just remind you to hit that like share and subscribe button and of course because this channel let alone this video are not sponsored and i'm just on a high speed struggle train heading into chaos and it's getting faster by the second if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and a kick in, feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, last chapter, we started to deal with the political fallout of um, Conky's Massacre. And Say's like, you know what? I gotta go and hear Conky's side of things. I do. Because he, unlike these other motherfuckers that are thinking with their heart and not thinking smart, Say is smart. He knows. He knows what he needs to do. So this is going to be very interesting to see how this conversation is going to go down. Let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Here we go. The king personally left Kanyo and came to the front lines? Crap, crap, crap. The king's army? Are you sure? He's not here to congratulate us. He has to be enraged about the massacre. If this was an ordinary punishment, he would have just called Boss back to Kanyo. He couldn't wait, so he led his army here immediately? This is as bad as it gets. I don't know. No, I don't think Sage's going to kill Conky. Sage just wants to get his side of the story before he makes his judgment. The king must be seething with rage. The boss and the rest of us might face a um, truly terrible outcome. Again, I think it's funny. And I said this last week. I think it's funny that there's more outrage towards the massacre of the Zhao soldiers than the fact than, um, that these motherfuckers basically massacred a ton of soldiers and Conky just kept going with it. He just kept, you know, um, sending them to attack. So I'm just like, there's kind of a little bit of a double standard, don't you think? The, the King's army, how many? Um, several tens of thousands. That many? Ooh, they're not messing around. Marin, uh, their messenger is expecting a reply. What do we say? The messenger told us to get the boss out to meet him. He was real cocky, too. To tell them to slow down their army's march. We still need time to reorganize after the battle. Iki, bring the boss, um, Kokuo and Rin. Wait. <sighs> Iki, bring the boss, Kokuo and Rin Gyoko here immediately. Yes, sir. And the Zeno clan, also the Shuma clan, g gather all the strongest clans here at once. What, all of them? Shut up and start running! We just received word from Conky's messenger. They want to meet at the plains northwest from here, which means uh, they could easily gather their troops uh, there if they wanted to. Ooh, we expected this. Spread out, uh, spread out our ranks. See, say no. See, no fool. Uh, yes, form the left wing, sir. As recorded in the records of the Grand Historian, after Conky defeated Ko Chow, the Kin Emperor El Se, move out, made his appearance on the field. So this chapter is titled The Reason for Massacre. Oh man, I can't wait to see Se's face for when Conky tells him the reason for massacre, the reason he did this massacre. Dude, I love how Conky just sitting there looking like a boss. <laughs> Merritt is freaking the fuck out. But Conky's just like, he's just chilling. <laughs> I would not want it any other way. I fucking love this man. I do. Dude, and the best part is Conky has his boots on the fucking table. I mean, I know, Kitty, it's, cr it's like perfection, isn't it? Would you guys expect Conky to do anything else other than this? Just to chill back and just have his fucking boots on the table? This is just epic. I love him. I love him. Hey, is this how you greet our king, bastard? Ooh, boss, that's not... Hey, it's fine, uh, Shoban Khan. We already knew that this man lacks manners. <laughs> Ooh, Conky looking away. Ooh, you know why I'm here, don't you? Don't beat around the bush. Give it to me straight. Why did you massacre the prisoners? No reason. Just felt like killing them, so I did. That's it. <laughs> Conky, I can't, you know what? I'm not surprised Conky's saying this, but at the same time, it's like, Conky just could have just flat out told them. 
but mm, let's see where we're gonna go with this. You damn conky! The laws of war forbids killing prisoners of war without a reason. Great generals are, are not exempt from these laws. Furthermore, the number of dead is abysmal, is inexcusable. Depending on your next words, I may order another beheading right here. Ooh, I'm different from you, um, see? Oh my god, I'm different from you, see? I don't joke around. Answer me, why did you kill them? Slipped my mind. <laughs> oh my god, cocky. I see. Um, Yao Shiga, off with his head. Ooh. Y you know what you're in for? If you kill him, you won't be leaving here alive. Ooh, your threats won't stop this judgment. Boss, run, I got this. Please, wait. What is it? Right. Please let me explain our situation. Uh, I'm sorry for the late introduction. I am Conky's close aide, the gentleman. No, the tactician, Marin. Why they had to massacre, uh, mass exterminate them? There's a proper reason for it. We've been telling you to spit it out already. Out with it. Yes. There was still a chance that the Kochow army could rally their soldiers and defeat us. Ooh. No, I don't think it's just that, but... But this is good, Marin. I know what you're doing. You spin this. This is why Conky is not saying shit. He's letting Marin take the wheel on this. It, it was a miracle uh, we defeated the Kocha army. Once their headquarters fell because of our surprise attack, their forces were in disarray. We spread false information that reinforcements from Osun's army had arrived, and they believed us and surrendered. But well, we captured more prisoners than we expected. If they discovered that there were no uh, reinforcements and realized that they could overpower us, they would all revolt at once. Oh, fuck. I forgot. Let me... It, it was a miracle we defeated the Kochow army. Once their headquarters fell, because of um, our surprise attack, their forces were um, were in disarray. We spread false information that um, reinforcements from Ozen's army had arrived and they believed us and surrendered, but... Well, we captured more prisoners than we expected. Totally at that time, their military strength was overwhelmingly greater than ours. If they discovered there were no reinforcements and realized that they could overpower us, that they would all revolt. We would, uh, we would not be able to stop them. There's also the enemies who fled. If they came back, we'd be doomed. We had no choice. We had to prevent that at all costs. Yes, we had no choice. That's why we did it. I, even I didn't want to take this that far. Was there no other way? Huh? Was it absolutely necessary to kill all of them like that? From what you say, all you needed to do um, was match the strength of the prisoners to stop them. You don't have to kill every last man to do that. What? Uh, oh my god. You don't have to kill every last man to do that. Well, Marin? Well, yes, but you conky soldiers have been needlessly killing those who could be spared for years now. Coo coo coo. That's rich. You're angry about people being killed? Thank you. Oh my god, Conky, I love you for this. You are the reason who's... Uh, oh my god, I, let me... Oh god, I'm so fucking excited for this. Coo, 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 that's rich. You're angry about people being killed? You were the one who started this invasion. Therefore, you're the one who has killed the most people um, in this world, King of Kin. Ooh! He's got you there. He's got you there. Oh my god. Dude, I fucking love this man. Oh my god, dude, Conky, you are so goddamn brilliant. But dude, say, you didn't think about this. Is why another reason why Say probably went out there, see what Conky had to say. Well, obviously to see what Conky had to say and get his side of things. But Say needed to hear this because, because again, I just don't understand why they're getting all pissy. Marin's reasoning, even if he was bullshitting it, he actually it's actually kind of valid. It is. Um, because of the overcrowding, they were worried about a revolt. So they were just doing what they needed to do. Was there any other way to stop this? I don't know. I'm curious what you guys think. Do you like obviously part of it was of course the revenge shit? Uh, for killing his men and you gotta wonder if they're not saying that because they know they would be in trouble <laughs> but but what Marin said is still is still pretty goddamn true is it the whole truth no but is it most of the truth yes but Conky is fucking right though and I said that when I said this earlier is that we are in war right now do you not understand what war is 
seriously, you decided to do this invasion and now you're going to take pity on, on the fucking enemy? Why? If you take pity and show weakness to the enemy, then they're going to come back and fight and come back stronger. That's what he's saying. I don't think Say thought about that, that um, if they let the prisoners go, they would come back stronger. Is Zhao going to still come back? Yeah. Are they going to be pissed? Yeah. But the thing is, they're going to be so blinded by emotion and rage that it's going to be easier to take them down. See what I mean? It's, I'm telling you, this man is brilliant. He knows what he's doing. Just the fact that, you know, they don't have any faith in him like this, that really pisses me off. Also, what the fuck is Osin in all this? Osin, if anybody, Osin should be here and sticking up for him. Seriously, he should. But I'm really curious what you guys thought of this chapter. What do you guys think of Conky and all this? I fucking love him. I, I went from like really hating Conky to like loving him. That's how great this character writing is. Um, I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you guys love how this is going down? And do you like that Conky is going to give, say, the business next week? I'm so looking forward to this. I can't wait to see what he says. It's probably going to be something super epic. It will in regards to war, in regards to invasions, and like Say needs this reality check. And part of me thinks that Say went there to talk to Conky to get this reality check. He needs to see what the fuck is going on. He needs to know the truth about, you know, what he's doing. So I'm um, on his, you know, how it comes back to him. Um, but Invasion ain't pretty. Nah, there's going to be a lot of death. I hope, the other thing I hope Conky says is like, I'm surprised you're not mad. At, how come you're more outraged about this than you are about, um, you know, Zhao slaughtering a shit ton of my troops? I was just returning the favor. <laughs> I would love for him to say that, that I was just returning the favor. Because in all reality, that's what he was doing. He was not only, you know doing the shit for, with um, getting or avenging uh, Rido. He was avenging all of his men that were slaughtered. I hope he says that shit. I hope he says that shit to, to say. Like, think about your own troops that were um, own troops that were slaughtered by these motherfuckers. Do you still feel bad for them? Do you? I was just, you know, sending a message not to fuck with me. And not to fuck with Kin. Because if they do... Ooh, they will get a t really nasty taste. And we saw what happened at the capital of Zhao. We saw how people are flipping the fuck out. Like, they're, like, they're scared because they know that Conky is savage as hell. I, I see what he's doing. I'm telling you, Conky is playing 40 chess while everyone else is playing checkers. He knows what he's doing. And it's goddamn brilliant. And you have to wonder if Osin would do the same thing. Do you think Osin would go this far? If it meant if um, if he knew that like these troops were gonna overpower him, and do you think Osin would do? I don't think Osin. I don't know if Osin would do something so vengeful like this. But that's something else that Conky needs to say, especially to Shin, and be like, dude, because uh, Shin's gonna give him shit, even though he has no reason to say anything to Shin. He hasn't. But that's what mofos need to understand. They need to understand the bigger picture. Everyone's so like so narrow-minded. In some narrow view like this that they're not thinking about like the bigger picture up, up in here especially in a war situation and that's what really frustrates me about what's happening right now is that all these motherfuckers like uh, for example the whole thing because I'm a Packers fan obviously so I gotta bring it up obviously the whole thing with Aaron Rodgers they refuse to listen to everything he said they only focus on the small things because it was the sports journalist that failed did and they do not like it so they're looking for a scapegoat and um and Roger just like Conky Roger just wants to be able to do his thing you you told him to go do his thing let him go do his thing it's it's your sport it's the sports journalist fault that they fucked up I'm just saying I'm very curious what you guys think of this chapter, what do you think about um, Conky? Especially, oh, the other thing going back to Rogers, they're not thinking about the failure of the sports media. 
everyone's just focused on what Rogers was saying. And I'm like, dude, are you not thinking about the failure that is the sports media? Hello? I get similar to this. It's like, say, you knew what you were doing, making Conkey a great general. You put your trust in him that he was going to do the right thing. And we he assumed that you knew what invading mean. So I'm really... Um, I'm really curious what you guys think. Do you guys think that Marin was was right to say what the, the strategy was the right thing? I think, as I, as I said, I think it's for two reasons. One, you know, to avenge. Um, I think Marin's reason is value, is totally valid. And the second reason being, of course, you know, Rido, avenging Rido. And also, I think avenging um, all the other soldiers that were killed, too. That was just a... That's just another little incentive, but oh, I can't wait to see what Conky says to, to say next week. Oh my God, it's going to be so good. Oh my God, Conky, I want you to roast the fuck out of him and give him a really good reality check. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.